Ukraine signs plan for cooperation with NATO in 2024. German online criminal marketplace targeted by police bust. Charity stores by border guards. Hello everyone, you are watching today's news on NTV channel. My name is Dan. Let's get started. Continuing to restrict the Ukrainian armed forces in line with the standards of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, and strengthening cooperation with this alliance are important components mentioned in cooperation plan for 2024, recently signed between Ukraine and NATO. The plan mapped out 50 steps to achieve 17 goals, including completing the transformation of its command and control system in accordance with NATO principles and standards, creating a joint NATO-Ukraine Center for Analysis, training and education, developing national documents to strengthen civilian control over the military. Also on March 1, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that his country and the Netherlands had signed a security agreement, paving the way for Amsterdam to provide Kiev with military aid of up to 2 billion euros, about 2.17 billion United States dollars, this year. German police on March 1 arrested and searched dozens of establishments related to a website called Kram Market the largest online criminal den in German ever. For years, the German functional forces have collected evidences against the crime market platform. This time, the authorities targeted the website operators, sellers, and buyers on this site. Crime market provided customers with a detailed guide to commit serious crimes, serving as a one-stop shop for illegal activities. The success of this case has important implications for internet management and cybercrime prevention in Germany. Recently, the police in Thangjong district, Nian province, caught a drug trafficker transporting 2,000 drug pills from Laos to Vietnam for consumptions. Accordingly, the project was carried out via the coordination of Than Chung District Police and Nok Lam Border Guard Station. Before that, the authorities secretly had ambushed, tracked to court the subject NGU Van Toai, born in 1963, residing in Than Chung Town. 2,000 synthetic heroin pills, one mobile phone, one walkie-talkie and one motorbike were seized after that. At the moment, Than Chung District Police are expanding the case for further investigation. Coming up next are some updated news. In the first two months of 2024, Vietnamese investors realized 17 new projects abroad without making any investment capital adjustments for existing projects. Accordingly, eight industries paid attention by the investors during the early month include wholesale and retail industries, 39.4%, real estate, 21.5%, and construction, 20%. Till now, Vietnam's total investment capital abroad reached more than 25 million United States dollars, equal to 21.7% over the same period last year. Provincial People's Committee of Ney and has just issued a plan to organize a launching ceremony of Olympic Running Day for People's Health and Cross-Province Race Tournament in 2024. Accordingly, the launching ceremony of this sporting event is expected to take place on at 7 a.m. on Sunday, March 17, 2024 at Ho Chi Minh Square, in front of Ho Chi Minh's monument in Vinh City. Meanwhile, all athletes participating in the cross-province race tournament will compete on Lenin Avenue in Vin City. Vietnamese fans have spent dozens to hundreds millions of dong on tickets, transportation, and hotels to travel to Singapore to watch The Eras Tour by Taylor Swift. The female singer held six music nights in early March at Singapore National Stadium. According to some fans, to save money, they book air tickets to Malaysia before traveling to Singapore by train or bus. In addition, 
Vietnamese fans don't hesitate to invest in costumes and accessories for the show. It is known that, in order for these shows to take place, Singapore's Minister of Culture and a delegation had gone to the US to invite the female singer to the island nation a year earlier. Today, you are going to hear a heartwarming story about small houses built by officers and soldiers from Mili and Kisan bodyguard stations. These houses provide free clothes and other items for local people in challenging border commune. These charity stores are not just places to give and receive necessities. Once come here, people and students in border areas are also given medicine, haircuts and can participate in computer classes for free. Poverty rate here is still high, so people's needs are high. In cold season, people are very excited to receive gifts from benefactors. From the first charity house built by Mai Li Border Guard Station, up to now, along the borderline of Gien, four more charity houses have been built in Kengdu, Nanagoy, Tam Ha, Chao Kanats. Firstly, we called on organizations and benefactors to donate to build the stores. After that, we sent our soldiers to make the computer classes available for local people. It can be said that, the charity stores has contributed to spreading the humane values of border guards to people in remote areas. This also helps build solidarity between local residents and border guards in the work of firmly protecting border sovereignty and national security. This is the end of the show today. Thank you for watching.